Hello Fuse users, the new Fuse 1.2 is compatible with Face Plus. I'll show you my process for getting it into the Face Plus plugin. So first we pick a character. I'm going to right click, add matching parts. You'll notice there's a lot more characters now. Okay, let's give them some clothes, some paint, some shoes. Okay, there we go. Now hit the animate tab. It'll upload it to the site. Again, it'll upload the model to the server, auto rig it, and we'll see the new um, beta options for blend shapes. So it's going to automatically create all the blend shapes that are compatible with Face Plus. Eventually, views will open up a website. Here we go. Now it's auto rigging. Okay, so here's the new option for views facial blend shapes. And I want to turn on facial blend shapes. Make sure those get exported. Otherwise, the default options are fine. Hit update. It's going to re auto rig it. Okay, now that it's auto rigged, I can hit finish. Okay, and now just download the character. Okay, just get them in the T-Pose, FBX for Unity, make sure this character is selected, and download. Okay, save the new Fuse model. Okay, so this will be our demo Fuse model. I'm just going to save it into the project where I imported Face Plus, into the Assets folder. Of course, you can put it in any subfolder. Okay, and then switch over to, if you wait for the import process to finish, you might have to hit fix for uh, making sure that the normal map is mapped properly. So I'll just say fix now, and then the project imports. Okay, now that the project's imported, I'll go into the Mixmo Face Plus project, and under examples, you'll find example blend shape. I'm just going to save the scene as... Another scene, the scene two, or even demo scene. Okay. And now, basically, we want to copy all the Face Plus scripts and settings here for the new character. So here's our demo fuse model. I'll just drag that to the scene. Look at the scene. Make sure this character is centered. Okay, flip them around 90 degrees, and then turn off Battery Boy. Okay, so there's our character, and now we'll set them up for Face Plus. So from Battery Boy, I'm going to copy some of these scripts. So Face Plus Extra Script, we'll just say Copy Component, go to our Fuse Model. And paste component as new. Okay, back to Battery Boy. The Face Plus connector script. Copy that. Copy component. Switch to our demo fuse model. Hit the gears. Paste component as new. Back to Battery Boy. Face Plus shaper. Copy component. Gears, paste component is new, and then we're done with Battery Boy. So he's already been disabled. Now we just have to hook up a few things. So if I expand the Mofuse model, and basically the face, the teeth, the points, they're all part of the same mesh. So I can just grab body within the Fuse model and drop it on the Okay, these are all the skin mesh renders, so that's the face mesh. For the teeth mesh, same thing, drag it to the teeth. So uh, then we have the head joint. Go to spine, expand this. Okay, from the neck, there's the head. 
Okay, that's the head transform. Okay, face plus connector. I want the head, the left eye, the right eye. The face mesh is the body. Okay. And save the scene. And now when I hit play, let's set this to none. There we go. Same thing with that jaw joint. I don't want it moving the head. I'll set that to none. There we go. And now this character is connected. Calling all units. Calling all units. Let's uh, move the camera in closer. I can unlock this now. Okay, so now there are some things you can tweak with the mouse shape if you notice oddities. So on the Mixmo model itself, the Fuse model here, there's this face plus sharper and you can adjust certain things like if his mouth was opening too far you can adjust the new maximum so you find mouth open here we go and by default it's starting with minus 20 and offsetting by them that amount which means his mouth is going to be always open a little bit set that back to zero make it a big positive number that can by default even when your mouth's closed it's applying that offset so a negative number would set a new min value so you really have to open a lot before it opens and the left side doesn't really label what this column is but I think it's the maximum allowed so I said 20 it wouldn't it would cap the blend shape amount okay now if we look at the body okay here's mouth open so you can see when your mouse closed, it's going to that default negative offset. And when you're wide open, it's going to hit that target 100%. In this case, though, zero is fine. There we go. Hello. Hello there. Now his lips up. Is that mouth up or something? Smile, squint. These are all the different values you can tweak. One thing I noticed is like you can adjust the eye position offsets. There you go. You can experiment with the values to see what they do. So if you had a character where you needed to bring in the eye to adjust to make sure it's on target. So if you're looking at the camera and the eye wasn't quite looking at the right direction, you can adjust the offsets. Okay, so 45, there we go. So it's like the farthest you can go or 30. can make them look over there so just uh, play around with these blend shape uh, min and maxes and offsets and that'll help you 
tweak your character so that it looks pretty good when he's talking. So this is the process that it takes to go from Mixmo Fuse, uploading through the website, and then importing into Unity, and then tying all the meta references so that your character works inside of Unity with the Face Plus. All right, thanks for watching.